Hey, YouTubers. Uh, dang, I took a nice ride. It was one of my first ones with the GoPro. I'm scared I might have lost a lot of that good footage going up the canyons and then up that dirt bike trail to uh, left hand. Some of the beautiful views I had at Indian Peaks and the leaves, it's going to snow tomorrow, so oh, that'll be gone soon. And that'd be too bad, but I guess that's the way it is. Sometimes it's even best if that's, that's how it's always been for me. That that's just a special thing just between me and nature. But I mean, it's good to share too. And some folks can't get out and see this or maybe want to go see, like, figuring out where to go in Colorado later. And they'll go, oh man, yeah, we got to ride up there. And uh, if they see it. So, but the thing I was wanting to talk about was lone wolves. And seeing a biker more like the street biker, you know, traditional biker world or rub world or whatever world. The rallies like Sturgis. You see a lot of people with vests and patches that say Lone Wolf. I ride alone. And uh, I think they're saying that because they uh, ain't riding with a club with an MC or something. But the funny thing is, all the folks that usually got this big lone wolf thing going on, they got four of their freaking buddies. And they're riding alone, and they're riding with. All of them got a lone wolf patch. Well, pretty much that blows that whole thing. The lone wolf's the guy that rides in out of nowhere by himself, and he maybe hangs and parties for a while, and, you know, then he rides on off by himself. And I guess the real, uh, true beard and died in the wool lone wolf wouldn't even just come on in and associate with folks. He'd be more like a hermit on a bike or something, kind of. But, uh, I mean, you don't want to take it too far. You got a party and you got to hang out with people sometimes and meet the other lone wolves at some point. But, uh, it always strikes me as funny when they got lone wolf. But they got a girlfriend back home and a family and a bunch of friends and a zillion Facebook friends and their lone wolf. And uh, even with old Billy Joe from the goddamn uh, Green Day, he's like, uh, I walk alone. Dude, you're surrounded by press agents and uh, friends and fans and admirers and band members. You may feel like you walk alone, and maybe a lot of the time you do, but come on, bro. I'm here to tell you as a died in the wool, lone wolf. I ain't got no family or no friends. And I just uh, ride pretty much alone. On road, off road, dangerous, safe, I don't care. That's just what I do. That's what lone wolves do. I ride around and I go by myself and pick up the trash of the non lone wolves. Lone wolves. And that's all right. I had plenty of time raising kids and having a family and having friends and social stuff, and, you know, contacts and all. And uh, I'm okay. And yeah, I'm okay with, you know, you want to support that lone wolf. I'm a wild, lonesome cowboy. I'm, a, I'm down. I support that, you know. I mean, you got to see yourself some way, and maybe that's a good way. Connected's a good way. Because even if we are alone and a lone wolf, Shoot, I ain't never totally alone. I mean, I'm alone all the time. What's that guy say? I'm never alone. I'm alone all the time. Are you at one? Do you rely? We live in a wheel where everyone steals. And when we rise, it's like strawberry fields. Can't remember what the name of that band was, but they were good. I sang a couple of their songs. Better than Ezra or something? I don't know. Shit. Bush. I think it's Bush. That's right. Glycerine. The point is, I may be alone, but I got a bunch of friends that are all riding around alone right now, too. Old we the Nick, hope you see this. And Troy and other guys, Cody. And, uh, yeah, some of you got families and girlfriends to go back to, but a lot of the time you are riding alone. That's enough alone wolf for me. You gotta be 100% if you getting a decent percentage of the time riding alone. Well, you know, I'm down. You're lone wolf or nomads or something. 
nomads usually ride alone and every now and then they'll get together and ride together and split up some of them and meet up and split up and that's how it rolls and uh you know wherever we are alone or not we know we got friends elsewhere that we're connected with others of like mind and we're intimately connected on a physical and quantum level with the whole universe basically and on and all these uh, birds and bees and bugs and everything else. We're all part of one big old ecosystem. So yeah, you can be alone and still be connected. You can be connected and still feel totally alone. I mean, maybe some of the people that feel the most alone are the ones like with Green Days, stars and stuff, and you're not sure, rich people, you don't sure who your real friends are. <laughs> you weren't sure if your girlfriend would really even like you if you was a poor old bum like me no money um you ain't sure if all your friends would dig if you didn't have all that freaking cocaine and fast cars and shit that you want to share with them and uh yeah you might wonder and that might make you feel alone right there and uh at least i know i'm alone and i know when i'm together and i know who i'm together with and i know even when i'm alone i'm still connected so anyhow that's all i want to say that's a lot of blabbing man for a biker philosophy I gotta get rolling down the road anyhow. Talk to you later. See y'all down the road, YouTubers.